I think the most exciting thing for me about the show is um, other than the flares and the tight uh, gym shorts, um, it's just kind of the opportunity to get an insight into Dwayne's life, really. Um, you know, we kind of travel from uh, Hawaii to Miami and, and it's really an interesting story of, you know, so that's probably the most exciting thing. There are a lot of similarities uh, between my childhood and Dwayne's. Um, I grew up in a single parent home. Um, my mum was a you know, sole breadwinner. And so while she was working and studying, we, we had to move houses often because we couldn't meet rent. Uh, my brother and I couldn't, you know, we were always kind of, uh, I guess we know what it's like to want and to go hungry sometimes. And, and I really, grew up with that determination to find just this one thing that I was really good at and I could really kind of focus in and be excellent at and that's one thing that Dwayne and I kind of share. Working the gimmick to me means uh, I guess utilizing your strengths you know and, and taking whatever works for you and what you're kind of naturally gifted at and ramping it up to about 25,000 you know, to whatever, however it helps you. I mean, it's an incredible honor, to be honest, um, to be part of telling Dwayne's story. It's, as I said, he's so transparent about his life, but we get to, we get to really get a good insight into the relationships, his mum, his dad, um, the wrestlers that he grew up around. You know, these are iconic figures that we, these are really iconic, wrestlers and figures that we I, I grew up around knowing and he grew up around them as if they were kind of like just uncles and aunties so it's a it's a big honor and it's a big responsibility for me I, I feel well the research I did for the part was was really um, other than what's already available I had a zoom meeting with Dwayne um, which was great we got to talk about you know firsthand hearing really what what's at the core of why he does what he does which is was important for me to understand and really it came down to family and and not wanting to repeat the struggles that he kind of grew up with um so that was that was pretty much all i needed to kind of lock into when i got on the zoom call i tried to kind of just relax you know but underneath my my stomach was just like you know, he's Dwayne Johnson. He's the biggest superstar of our time and he's a business mogul. He's now the most followed man on Instagram and Twitter and America, maybe the world, I'm not sure. But, you know, but I was, I was so nervous, but I had, you know, I tried to keep, keep it in, in the front of my mind that I had a job to do, so. I don't think I was surprised by it, but I was definitely, it kind of confirmed to me what kind of person Dwayne is when we had the Zoom call, he was very present and very available uh, in the conversation. And, and someone of that stature and that um, status, I suppose, I didn't expect. I wasn't too sure how that would work out, but he was exactly as you see him. You know, he was very, as I said, very present, very available, very personable. Um, yeah, so he's just a great dude. I, There is a little bit of responsibility and a bit of weight to that, but I think, given the context, uh, given the the genre that we're playing in, it's a comedy. Dwayne just said, "Just have a great time, just enjoy it." And so, um, I think that's the most important thing. All of our hearts and our minds are in the right place to honor his story, honor his legacy, honor his family. Um, so as long as we have that in place and get to play, I, th I think we'll, we'll be okay. To physically prepare for Dwayne for this, um, I, I kind of had the idea to prepare as a footballer would. Um, he played defensive tackle, which is, you know, heavy dudes, really mobile as well, athletic. Um, but in terms of getting on set, I just try and relax. You know, Dwayne's quite present, you know, physically. He doesn't try and ramp himself up in any way, but no, I just try and stay relaxed. I mean, it's great. The vibe is, 
the, the vibe on set is incredible. Um, Natch is a real, knows how to govern the space, knows, how, knows what she wants, is very direct, and knows how to have fun, is very loose. Um, and the art department have done a fantastic job. We shot in, we shot in uh, the gym, the Miami uh, gym yesterday, and it just looks, it looks primo. Everything looks really, really great. So it's, it makes my job a lot more easier just walking into the space and, and it's all there. So, yeah. It occurred to me um, maybe about a month ago that there's a whole generation, generations, that didn't know Dwayne started off as a wrestler. You know, he, they just kind of saw him in Jumanji or they just saw him in the movies and didn't really realise that. So I think that's, an, that's you're, you're right. People will kind of discover, oh yeah, he's got an incredible, you know, his grandfather was the first Samoan uh, wrestler in the WWE, uh, WWF at that point. So he comes from this really rich heritage um, his Samoan culture is a big thing and his black heritage is another thing you know his father was a was the first black wrestler I mean that's a big legacy on your shoulders and I think it's going to inspire a lot of people uh, for sure 100% I've been acting since 2000 and quite accidentally really in my old age but to be involved in something like this is just so overwhelming. It's something that I've never been involved in. You know, big production, huge crew, very talented cast. And to be involved in, you know, in this project is, it's just beyond words, really. It's very family oriented um, with this particular role that I play. Um, Dwayne Johnson's grandmother. Um, it's a, the characteristics are very similar to my own mother. So it was very easy to sort of blend into it and um, to be involved um, with Polynesians and a Polynesian story, particularly Samoan story, and to have a great mix of wonderful cast um, hard-working crew so it's a it's, it's funny which is very Kiwi Australian Pacific Samoan um, dramatic you know you've got the scenes where she's quite um, a volatile woman um, but uh, it's fun it's funny it's dramatic colorful vibrant yeah it's it's, it's just beyond words, really. It's going to be great. I know it. And I can feel it in my bones that it's going to be relatable, um, particularly in, in, all, in, all, in all families. It's universal. And how this woman, who we know very little of, um, come to life. And how I think she was the backbone to um, creating this whole... Well, Dwayne Johnson, really, in the wrestling world, and Rocky Johnson, and it's just amazing, and something new that I've never known before. Yeah. Very family-oriented, um, about building relationships, about trust and loyalty, about um, uh, no, no barriers in terms of race and creed and nothing that goes on th these days it's really fun um, yeah like I said before relatable and about loyalty which is a good thing and sports um, different types of people <laughs> you know build and size and character um, it'll be really interesting and you'd want to watch and see what happens in the end what's next uh, but it's funny and fun to be involved in, yeah. I usually use the camera people, people behind the camera and behind the scenes. If I can see that they're nodding their heads or they're not looking frustrated, then I know I've done a good job. Yeah. It's the people who are working behind the cameras. Um, for me, is my benchmark. 
Yeah. Well, as soon as I put my costume on, then I know that it's no longer Anna, and I immediately focus on what I need to say, what is my direction, and when I walk into the, onto the set, it just adds the, the intensity and it adds to my focus as to who I am, what I need to do, and what is it that I need to get the message, what's the message that I want to portray in this particular scene. True stories, you know, if you want to delve into someone else's personal life, like if you like, um, well, if you like Dwayne Johnson's movies, you know, they're exciting. And so you want to know, well, who is this person? I, I really can't compare this show to any other show. The authenticity of the show is... Um, <clears throat> People are still alive, his mother's still alive, Dwayne Johnson's about him. People who are involved are still around. So um, it has to be real, it has to be honest, because um, it's about people's lives. And so therefore, we're, we're accountable um, to telling the story of these particular people who are still around. So it has to be authentic, it has to be real, and you just can't get away if you're talking about real life. And yeah, it's about accountability, really, mm. for people who are who are still here. Mm. Someone asked me, um, "Who can? How do you relate? Who inspires you to play this?" And I'd say, "My mother. My mother was exactly like Leah. You know, I think there's somewhere in this whole production where she was described as um, feared, loathed, and loved." Um, it's about this very strong woman who went through a lot of hardship and you know I can relate to that and a lot of women can relate to that and her husband dies and she's got to carry on and there's some part there where she said she has to work twice as strong and be twice as mean so that she could get respect from from a male dominated sport and uh so great, you know. I wish we had known about her earlier. She's an unsung hero in my eyes, now that I know. And just playing this part, so it's just a great privilege and I just love her. Hmm. The project's really, um, I kind of see it as like a behind the scenes on Dwayne's life, really. So you've got um, all the, it's like the makings of a man, like all the characters that sort of had an impact on his life, good and bad, um, a kind of a, a journey to where he is today, I think, yeah. So today we have the Battle Royale, uh, Battle Royal. so um, the, yeah, what we've been doing today is the Battle Royal, which is um, a huge big boxing match that Leah has organised um, and we, everyone thinks that Rocky's going to be winning it, but he actually loses in the end. So yeah, it's like 18 wrestlers, it's like full on, action packed, pyrotechnics at the end. <laughs> yeah, it's a fun journey through an amazing man's life that will take you on a roller coaster of emotions and adventure. <laughs> Very good. The, the cast and the connection has just been amazing. I don't know how you know it just happens and um, you find yourself in the middle of a scene really connecting with each other and uh, I'm a mum myself so I sort of find myself really sort of doting on Adrian and even in between takes making sure that you know he's kind of okay and that you are right and have you got things and so I think that sort of helps make that real connection come to life on the screen. Yeah, I definitely think, um, well, I mean, it's Dwayne kind of telling us the story and there's a little bit of kind of license for things, but it's all very authentic and it's something that um, I think everybody will be able to relate to. These are real people and we, we see these characters that we kind of grew up with and these wrestling icons, but it takes us behind that and so we see these people 
go through their vulnerable moments and kind of challenges in life. And so I think that's what makes it really authentic, that it's not just a sort of pretty picture, it's the whole, it's everything. The best way I think to describe Atta Johnson is uh, a living legend. Um, she, this is a woman who, through adversity, um, managed to always put her son first and um, sort of, yeah, through a lot of challenges in her life, um, managed to really kind of keep the family together and raise an amazing man. So she, just all credit to her, she's a legend and she went through a lot and um, she came out on top. <laughs> definitely, she's definitely someone that everyone can aspire to. She's um, she's she's really like the heart and soul of um, the project, and it's a, it's an honour to be playing a character like that because she's she's human and she's not um, you know without her own kind of faults and she makes mistakes, but um, she's always is coming from that place of a pure heart and love for her son. So yeah. To me, I see it as like making history of being part of um, being a part of Dwayne's history, and um, you know, this is a Samoan story. This is a Samoan man who grew up, and to be able to be a Samoan actor in this role—that's the most exciting part. Is that we're going? This is our culture, and it's here on the screen, and um, that for me is really exciting. Yes, I had a Zoom call with Dwayne and Atta, um, which was incredible and amazing we shared stories and experiences we sang together <laughs> um, we cried together we laughed together it was a surreal moment but um, just the most beautiful people yeah it was sort of like <laughs> after, after I got past the shock of um, seeing them on the screen um, you're just genuine you know down-to-earth people uh, like in a crazy way like you just you you put them up on this pedestal but at the end of the day they are just normal people and just really coming from a place of genuine love and the bond between mother and son was beautiful it's amazing i in the makeup truck we have all the cast lists and so the boys are lined up next to each other and you sort of sit there and get your makeup done and look at them i'm just like you guys actually really look alike and they're they're just amazing beautifully cast and yeah perfect Working the gimmick means to me, um, it, it's sort of putting on a show in a way, and um, the wrestlers do it in their wrestling, but also characters like myself, Atta does it all throughout as well. She's constantly covering um, things and making the, you know, the, the best picture that she can for Dwayne, and that in her own way is kind of working her gimmick of like, you know, we can get through this, and things are actually okay when really it's kind of not, but yeah. It's, it's an incredible honour. Um, it's almost like you can't even describe, like everybody knows The Rock and, or Dwayne and his journey. And it's, it's amazing to then kind of be a part of going behind that and behind the scenes and presenting that real life experience it's to sort of go, you know, before all this, this is actually what happened. And the story of his life is incredible and amazing. And a lot of things that people would be sort of surprised at, um, but it's it's just an amazing honour. I think um, it presents a human story and everybody can relate to that. And um, you see the journey of these characters going through and, you know, making mistakes and finding their way through challenges and coming out on top or I think, um, there's a lot in there for people to relate to and there's so many wonderful characters there's all the nostalgia of the wrestling world that you know a lot of us kind of grew up you know watching on tv and recognizing people like andre the giant or like that and i just think people are going to love seeing that world come to life i do <laughs> you know yeah definitely i would describe it it's it's about uh Dwayne running for president and along the campaign trail he just gives gems about lessons he learned growing up uh, along the way and how they, they helped shaped him into the man he is today. It's hard to say because there's never really been nothing done like it that I've seen. 
Um, you can't call it a comedy, but you can, because we, we do tell jokes, you're gonna laugh, but it's also very grounded. But I wouldn't even say it's a dramedy. So it's just one of those things where I can't really put my finger on what it is. I just know it's, it's very different, and I've never seen anything like it. The, the characters look just like the characters. It's, it's, it's crazy. It's crazy how much we all look like each other. Oh, this, this is great. I, I, I belong in the 80s and 70s. I, I could rock this all day. <laughs> um, no, it's a very grounded, funny, real show uh, that a lot of people are going to take a lot from. The authenticity is like spot on. It's, it's actual people. And the actors who are portraying those people look just like those people. And we have someone with a you know, straight line. Dwayne has always given us info back about you know, what we need to do and the right things to do. It's, it's insane how accurate it's going to be. My character is Rocky Johnson. He's father of Wayne Johnson. He is a charismatic dude. He can make everyone around him feel like a million bucks. Um, he loves his family. He's a big family man. And he's just an awesome guy to be around. And people want to be around him just because he makes them feel so good. Hey, I'm Joseph Lee Anderson, and I'm playing Rocky Johnson. The moment in the pilot that I love is the actual, the opening of the pilot, which is a wrestling match between me and someone else that I won't give away yet. But it's, it's awesome. They're going to love it. Uh, the similarities between my childhood and Dwayne's childhood is that we both moved around a lot. Um, that's one thing that really stands out. I was surprised at uh, how he grew up in high school. Like, I would have assumed that he always had money because of his father being, you know, the wrestler he was. But that's not always the case. It wasn't like that. And, uh, you know, it was kind of refreshing to see that he went through that struggling time in high school, you know, and made those mistakes. But look how he ended up. So that was nice. Working the gimmick, that's, a, that's like a 24-hour thing, you know? If someone says you're something and they see you as that something, you're going to be that something all day, no matter what. What's it like telling the Wayne Johnson story? It hasn't hit yet how big of a, big of a thing it actually is. It hasn't hit me yet, but, like, it's the biggest movie star on the planet, and that's is wild that I'm playing his father. So I, I don't know how to, how to react or how to, how to take it yet. <laughs> yeah, I had a great conversation with Dwayne about who his father was and things like that. Um, a lot of YouTube, watching him wrestle, you know, different matches, uh, different interviews he did just to try to, you know, learn as much about him as I can. I knew we had something great when we were on set and it's a scene with all the wrestlers just in a room playing cards and laughing and just how, how like insanely identical we looked to them. That, that's when I knew like this is going to be special. Well, it's nice that it's a comedy because, you know, we can, we can all joke around throughout the day. We can keep it light, you know? instead of a drama when everybody's kind of like on their toes all the time. You know, it's nice to be able to chill. It's a, it's a heavy responsibility uh, to tell someone's story, especially someone's story who's passed away. Um, so I, I, don't, I don't take it lightly. Uh, I take it very seriously. A beautiful comedy with tons of incredible characters that pull at your heartstrings, but also make you laugh until you have abs. <laughs> Multiple timelines, but in my timeline, Teenage Dwayne, he is a kid coming to a new town, new schools, got to make friends, got to make a big impression with a splash. 
No, there's lots of ups and downs, but overall it's very good, feel good vibes. Well, it's an awesome show, but it's a beautiful comedy with tons of super dope characters that they, they really it might make you cry sometimes, <laughs> like pull at your heart, but it also makes you laugh a lot. So it's really great. When we first got here, we all went straight into quarantine and we hadn't even really met each other. Even Lexi, who plays Karen, our chemistry was automatically super good. It's like we had known each other for years already and everyone is just so sweet and passionate it already feels like a family even before we had met each other and first week out we were hanging out we've had barbecues already so i think you know not many shows have that kind of atmosphere where everyone's really a family and we get along so well so well i think it's this show is extremely real to me because you have someone like dwayne johnson you think you know everything about him, but you, he's really more relatable than you realize. And the show does a great job of showing these really funny, exciting moments, but it also shows you the lows, and that's what's real. Like, life isn't always super positive and happy and funny. There's lots of real lessons that you can learn, even as a teenager, you know. I, I definitely didn't expect to relate with him as much with the struggles and um, just how tough it was. Of course, moving around state, I didn't realize how many different places he had moved around to. So, you know, come to a new school, I'd be terrified. Yeah, I got to chat with him. It was, it was really nice. And uh, he's just such a, a genuine, real guy that all you really have to do is listen. You just listen and you learn everything you need to know about him. So. I was, I was surprised about the layers to an extent because, like you said, you've seen him in all these movies. I grew up watching him on TV, you know, and you have, I had this idea of who he was, you know. And obviously, I, you never know who people are until you meet them, you know, and I did. And he turned out to be exactly who he says he is, a real, genuine, honest guy. And all these real layers that you can relate with are things that anybody can relate with, so... Okay, so DJ at 15 is, is like a modern-day cowboy. He's, he's, he's tall, he's confident, he's oversized for high school. Um, and I think he's also maybe misunderstood because he's also super kind, super kind-hearted. He loves his family, he loves his mama. He puts family over everything else. So no matter how much fun he's ever trying to have, that's always the most important thing to him. Yeah, shoot, if everybody could go to high school with the amount of confidence that DJ goes into high school with, I think everybody can aspire to be like that. I, you know, I think with DJ, he, he's, he gets it from his, his dad. His dad is always instilling that confidence in him. He tells him, hey, you go to school, you do this, you got to work it, you know, you got to sell it and be you. You know, so he's super proud. That's who he is. And I think that carries his confidence in school. He's not worried about what other people think, you know. Being a part of something so much bigger than yourself, you know, there's, it, it is Dwayne's story, but there's so many other, you know, his parents and the wrestlers and all the people that he comes into contact with, you know, there's really just a beautiful collection of characters that tell an awesome message and it feels so much bigger than me. So it's awesome. Well, my family struggled a little bit, and we had some financial struggles sometimes, and it was tough balancing the way that I presented myself at school versus at home. You know, I come home, and we deal with our, our family issues, and then I go to school, I'm having fun. We're doing whatever, you know, so I think I can relate with that. Well, if you have, like, fake it till you make it, it's, like, the more common one, but working the gimmick requires work. So that would be more finesse, creativity, and the confidence to pull it off. You gotta work it. When's the last it's incredible to be playing DJ Story. It's an honor, honestly. And he's he said it a few times. Almost makes me cry. He just is so proud of everyone's work coming in and playing these these people that have meant a lot to him. You know, these real characters, and they all have you know real emotions and real stories behind them. And I just I'm. I'm proud and grateful to be a part of it. 
Oh, yeah. Oh, super proud, man. Yeah, me and my mom are like this, and we've been working to get something like this for a while. And, you know, and this is not only is this just such a huge project, it's special. You know, when I first got the role and saw that it's Dwayne, and you see the way that I can relate to him, even playing the role, I feel like sometimes it's almost not even acting. It's just like I get to be myself. So it's, she's really happy that I can, I'm really enjoying it. So. So researching for this part, I had to YouTube, Google, everything Dwayne Johnson a hundred times over every day. Um, I started reading one of his books and eventually I got to meet him and talk to him and I had tons of questions. I just hit him with it. And like I said, he's super genuine and honest and open. And he told me things about his childhood. He's just so personal and all you have to do is listen and you learn everything you need to know. Um, I didn't realize how close he was with Andre the Giant growing up. That's really a special relationship. And you think about all the wrestlers that were around him all the time because of his dad. And I didn't realize how much of a family that was between all of them. It was really cool. Yeah. Well, of course, with the kind of year 2020 has been, it was really hard to get into the gym. You know, no gyms were open in Los Angeles for the whole year, pretty much. They're just now opening, really. And uh, I was just doing deadlifts with my bed and bench pressing chairs around the house the whole time and run and do whatever I could, you know, push ups, sit ups, anything. And then eventually I was able to get in the gym. And then it's really just about making sure you go, you know, not just going, but after leaving, making sure that you feel like you're hurting, you know, like you're doing something you left there, you know, and there's some mornings I'd wake up at like five or five thirty. And I'd go on Instagram, I'd see he posted something. He's like, oh, hitting the gym at five in the morning. It's like, oh, I guess I gotta go, you know? So it's really just, I'll throw on, I bought some of his shirts too. Every time I put it on, it's just in the zone. So work out every day, yeah. keeps you motivated. <laughs> so the project is about how Dwayne, about Dwayne's younger life, building up from 10 years old, going to 15 years old, then to 20 years old, and then after he goes and runs for president, which I hope he wins, um, and the project is just, it's, it's, it makes it a lot more different, and it's not just any type of, oh, true story show. It's about Dwayne's life, like, Dwayne Johnson and everyone would want to see that I'm guessing um, and it's just amazing because he's putting this all this work into his show and it's gonna be amazing I'm, I'm so honored to be Dwayne Johnson it's it's such a big honor and I love, I, I love doing Little Dewey. Yeah, I, I've seen him in quite a bit. He's, he's really cool, he's everywhere, and he's just, I've seen him, because I have a wrestling game, a WWE game, and every single time I play that game, I choose The Rock, and Boom! I just became The Rock. I can relate to my character because of Young Dewey's mindset and how he felt and if he couldn't get his way, it would be a, a whole thing for the rest of the day until he got what he wanted. Um, but me looking at the script and reading the script and then acting it, it comes a little more naturally to me because I relate to him so much. Well, not so much, but I have those little tiny things that can help so much. The most exciting part of being in, in the show is being Dwayne Johnson. I'm 100% sure it's gonna be amazing. 
the similarities between me and Dwayne Johnson, his younger life as Dwayne Johnson, would probably be girl crazy. Has the same hair as me, so I'm glad someone has the same hair as me. Telling Dwayne Johnson's story is a pretty big responsibility because one, you don't want to disappoint him of what, how you necessarily act as him because if you maybe try and be something like him but he thinks it's not like him and that might offend him so it's just a really big responsibility.